Good morning, YouTube. I'm back. And apparently, I am no longer in Staten Island. We are in the uh, hinterlands of Maine today. And have been for the week. So, let's play catch up because while I have been doing a lot of riding, it has been doing a lot of raining. So, me and the boys, we came up here, uh, what was it, Sunday? Yep. Uneventful. Uneventful trip. It was nice. Made good time. I think it was about nine hours. Had a couple of stops. Checked in. Settled down. And that was day one. Day two. Went to breakfast. Did a little ride on our own. That was good. Okay. And then yesterday we had a little uh, club excursion. Uh, we went from here, which is Sugarloaf, by the way, Sugarloaf, Maine, Carabasa Valley, and we went down to Bar, uh, not Bar Harbor, shit. Uh, we went down to Bangor, Maine, and it rained. It's about a hundred and something miles, and it rained the entire time. Even if you look right now, it's uh, it's what we call threatening. But I'm going to risk it to bring you content. <laughs> so, that's what I'm doing today. I do have a uh, GPS route plotted in, since I don't live here and I don't know where I'm really going. And we'll see how it works out. Because, uh, like I said, if you see right now, the roads are uh, really wet. I just woke up. My virus is fogging. It's going to be an interesting uh, beginning. And uh, while my guys are sleeping or getting breakfast, I'm going to be doing this by myself. Wait and see. So. Hopefully I do not have to don rain gear because that would really suck. And, uh, so this is an interesting area. Obviously, if you're not familiar with the area, Sugarloaf is like their really big uh, ski slope up here. And, you know, they got the cabins and the hotel and everything for the ski slope is uh, rented out for the summer for, uh, well, we're having a convention, so that's why we're here. And it was pretty cool, a uh, little shout out, because uh, for the first time in my life, I met a fellow YouTuber, can't believe I'm calling myself that, but that's fine, there's uh, Shan from uh, She Will Ride, you know, another uh, another YouTuber, she works out of, uh, or she uh, rides out of uh, the Albany area, so she made the uh, truck across, and uh you know, we got, I ran into her uh, a couple of days ago, so that was cool. Introduced ourselves, <laughs> had a little chat. So, we are like uh, 37 miles from the Canadian border up here. And I'll be honest with you guys, I would, I would go to Canada right now, except for I forgot my passport and shit. So I have to stay on this side of the fence. Yeah. Oh, and then, yeah, we tried to do, uh, we tried to do, uh, so a little moose watching, but, uh, they, uh, they didn't show up that time. So, and they should probably, you know, there's a moose sign right there. There's something you don't see in Staten Island. So, since we're already this far into it, you know, let's uh, just do the regular stuff. If you could do me a favor, like, subscribe, notifications, yada, 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 get that out of the way. And let's uh let's get on with it. So after going over the uh, the maps on online, I figure this first stretch of uh, trip we're gonna head down to a nice overlook for a big lake, and we'll see what we see. Well, we got a log truck on the horizon. 
for all the users that seen the movie Final Destination, you don't want to get behind those. And I will also say this, that uh, coming up here, that tour pack I put in, and I have the uh, bag, the insert that goes with it from uh, the OEM one, I managed to pack an entire week's worth of, uh, or five days worth of uh, clothing and accessories in it for this trip. So, if that gives you an idea of uh, how versatile that purchase was, whereas I would have had the backrest, the bag, it all just fit right in that trunk. I got here, picked it up, walked it into my room, dropped it on the bed, unpacked, and I was done. All right, this restaurant here, the Looney Moose Cafe, shout out to them. Delicious food. Me and the boys ate there a couple of days ago. And uh, pancakes the size of the plate. So be careful when you order. Don't order too much. <laughs> and one thing up here is there are a lot of gravel roads. Not dirt, gravel. My trike here has never been so filthy since I've owned it. And of course it's starting to rain now. Terrific. Guess I'm gonna have to don some rain gear. Okay guys, here's the first stop. No oh, man. Off to the next stop. Hope the rain isn't screwing up the picture too much for you guys. Sorry about that. I have no control over the weather. out to the left over there see the clouds hitting the mountains they got there donkeys is that a donkey looks like a donkey all right I'm gonna pull in here cuz this is the uh... yeah yeah why not This is where we went uh, moose watching. Nope, still not there. <laughs> I'll definitely tell you that this particular road is not trike friendly. It's got some sort of rut in it, or really heavily rutted, and it will yank you from side to side to side. It was not fun, and now I have to drive through it. Oh man, like I said, ho hopefully it dries out after this.
sun sticks around because we're at our next destination. It's the uh, Wrangley Lake. Wrangley Lakes? Something like that. Try to zoom in. If you look straight ahead, they got the seaplanes. This is pretty cool. I guess we're taking a ride through Wrangley. And of course, now that I have everything zipped up, I got the right visor in place, etc., etc. Uh, probably stop raining. Here's the thing. Tomorrow, I'm out of here. I'm heading home. So this was the only real uh, time that I had to film anything. I, the trip to Bangor, I couldn't, I couldn't film any of that because we were in constant rain. You wouldn't see anything. So if you're sticking with me. Do appreciate it. If that was the same lake. All right. Scenic overview. Made it to our, th what is it, third destination? Let us see what we can see, folks. Gonna require the cell phone. I really hope that uh, scenic overlook came out all right. It was an actually wonderful view. It's the type of place you go up for like either a sunrise or a sunset. You camp out with your camera and stuff and your coffee. And if I never get to live up here, that's, uh, I'll be honest with you, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Hmm. This wasn't on my list. Ah, let's go check out the state park. Pay to get in here. So 
We're not. <laughs> Shit. Well, there was almost one dead chipmunk. <laughs> God, why life has such a death wish. All right, we're back down to lake level. But now I gotta get to that side. <laughs> crashes next seven miles it's exactly what you want to see on a motorcycle right all right so this area only has a high rate of moose interaction with vehicles. I guess that's better than high impact. I don't know. Of course it seems that all the moose impact areas are the straightest, nicest roads I've been on so far. Go figure. Time to head back. All right, so for this list, this 53, 53 miles to the Canadian border from here. So we're gonna be following, I believe it's the Carabasset River. And then we will call this ride done. There's the river to our right. Like when we came up here on uh, Sunday, it was really dry. But uh, the past couple of days, I guess it's been raining. It's swollen.
all in all, I think today was pretty good. Could have done without the rain. It is what it is. But, uh... It was short-lived. Got to go to places I wanted to, and hopefully you guys got to see what I wanted you to. So, I think it's a win-win for everybody. <laughs> Oh, I, I hate saying stuff like this at the end of the video because like no one gets this far. I've actually seen hitchhikers. I've never seen hitchhikers in my life. Until I came up here. Oh boy. And we are back where we started this journey. Alright. Hope you had a good time. Hope you found it enjoyable. Hope you'll uh, catch the next one. I don't know when that'll be. I don't know when what it'll be on, but there will be a next one. So, until the next one. Right safe. And bye bye. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>